plan against Mitt Romney, but what about his battle plan for the lackluster economy? We've said it before and we'll say it again. This election is all about the economy, especially if this summer stall becomes a fall freeze. In fact, one might say this 2012 race isn't President Obama versus the GOP. It's Obama versus the GDP. Let's ask our guests. Here now is CNBC contributor Jared Bernstein, former chief economist for Vice President Joe Biden, Steve Malanga. Malanga, that's how you say I should pronounce it. You say Malanga, I say Malanga. Let's, that's a, let's, all right. Manhattan Institute senior fellow and author of Shakedown, the continuing conspiracy against the American taxpayer and small business owner Jim Garland, Sharp Details CEO and the author of The Practical Guide to Exceptional Living. Jared Bernstein. You work for uh, the Obama administration. Is he running against the GDP and not the GOP? Uh, look, I think every president is uh, uh, incumbent who's running for a second term uh, is looking back over his shoulder, probably less at GDP than uh, at unemployment, but that doesn't sound as, as clever as uh, GDP versus GOP. Uh, uh, unemployment's important. Obviously, income growth is important. And sure, the, the rate of growth in the economy is a critical variable. Now, I think the president can correctly point out that when he took office, GDP was cratering at an 8% rate. That's the, the rate at which GDP was declining in the last quarter of 2008. Starting in the third quarter of 2009, GDP began to increase. It's up 7% real since then, about a trillion dollars higher. And believe me, you're going to hear those numbers uh, in coming uh, weeks if you haven't already. Steve, uh, the public thinks jobs matter, the joblessness, the employment number. Is the public right to focus on such a small part of the uh, metrics of the economy, not the GDP, but just jobs. Uh, well, I, did, I think they are right because, first of all, that is the thing that you look to turn around first. Because, first of all, it is the human element. Yes, we could talk about how the value of productivity and added value, and that ultimately comes down to human value. But the real human value is people out of work. And so, really, when you want to see the economy going in the right direction, you just don't want to see a little bump in GDP. You mm -hmm. want to see people going back to work. Jared we, Jared, we have five unemployment numbers until the election. Is the public right to focus on those unemployment? employment numbers and measure the president's performance on the basis of whether we're going higher or lower. You know, I think that the public probably doesn't pay nearly as much attention to these numbers as we think we do. What matters to people in the public is how the economy feels to them in their neighborhood, in right. their community. Right. And, if, and, and, and if people are experiencing the economy e even getting a little bit better, that helps. If they experience at stagnation, that doesn't. So an, an unemployment rate that's moving from, you know, 8.5 to 8.3 to 8.2 to 8 feels a lot better than one that's just stuck where it is. We've had a series. We've had a series of disappointments the last several True. months is yep. that's a trend that is ugly right. if that trend continues is the public right to make that part of the campaign I, I think that if that trend continues, it's tough on the incumbent because it's precisely the kind of stagnation I mentioned. What the incumbent needs is momentum. The absence of momentum, of course, is, is, is challenging for him. Jim, Jim Garland, let me just uh, turn to yes. you and ask you whether the Obama administration, its policies, and the probability of some sort of health care uh, uh, reform, we'll find out on Monday, has it made it easier or harder for you to do business, easier or harder for you to hire workers? It's made it harder, and it's going to make it a lot harder in 2014 when all the mandates kick in for small businesses. And uh, my company has 70 employees, part full-time, part part-time. So what's going to happen is when that kicks in, we're right at that 50 uh, FTE full-time equivalent threshold. And that's when we're going to find out, are we going to have to provide coverage for everybody? Are they going to be... Uh, fall under the individual mandate do you provide and coverage now? Do you provide coverage do, now? And we do provide whom? coverage now. And we would, provide you, it for would our... you be tempted, as some business owners say, uh, to uh, go ahead and pay the fines, uh, even if they tipped over into the, if, you, if you tipped over into that 50 plus, where it would, would ultimately cover you? Would you would you consider doing that? Well, and it would depend on what the cost is. And the other question I have about the fine, so let's say I had 40 employees I was uh, providing health care coverage for. It's 2000 to $3,000 an employee. If I decide to pay the fine because it was less expensive, am I writing an $80,000 check at the beginning of the year? You know, these are all the unknowns and the uncertainties that a small business owner is dealing with Steve, right now. Steve, the yeah. health care is one of the uncertainties. Dodd-Frank, the question of whether we're going to see Europe stabilized. There are a lot of uncertainties. Does, know, the, I, does the market respond to those uncertainties? 
or is this a political game and it's not actually in the, in the economics? You mean the stock market? Yeah. Well, the stock market certainly responds, but it responds. The stock market can turn around like this. Right. The economy can't. I think Jared used the, the absolutely correct word when you talk about momentum. Right now, all the signs are that the momentum is slowing down and going in the wrong direction. If the economy is a battleship, President Obama has to have a turnaround before he even gathers enough speed to make a difference. You know, Steve, John made a great point earlier, and that is that we've got five more, and, and, and Jared, let me turn back to you, we've got five more unemployment right, numbers right, before right. Uh, the election. Do, do Americans even know what the GDP is? I'm sure they know what, I'm sure they <laughs> know like, what like unemployment said, is. It, it's a matter of how they personally feel the, the economy on the ground is working for them in their lives. Look, if Congress wants to do something helpful vis-a-vis -vis uncertainty, 